Hello and welcome to the Bob Plays Resonance as part of our Why Jedi Wednesday series. Let's get to it. Overly dramatic main title screen. Uh, guy going, <gasps> and this guy's just like, oh, I can't deal with it. And everyone else is either like yelling or crying. There's like girl crying. There's another person crying. Yeah, this guy yelling. Rawr! And then there's another person crying. But anyway. Unconfirmed reports now coming in from Zurich, bringing the total number of countries experiencing attacks over the last hour up to 12. And we're still waiting for word from our Washington Bureau since... Not Sydney! Approximately... Oh well, nothing of value was lost. Explosions or some type of attacks have occurred in cities around the globe. The attacks are accompanied by power surges, large scale blackouts. Oof. This time, we do not know the exact nature of these attacks, but they do not appear to be conventional explosives. Some have pointed out, and this is still just speculation, these attacks appear to resemble. The incident that took place at the Juno Particle Accelerator in Aventine City on Sunday morning, though authorities have been calling that an accident. What connection the incident in Aventine City could have had uh, to these worldwide attacks is, at this point, unknown. Uh, being told now, we've established... 60 hours earlier. Ooh. Sound. Make it stop. Make it Where's stop. Where's it coming from? Hamper? The sound is louder over here. Nothing but dirty pants. It was my cell phone. I must have left it in there when I took them off last night. I guess I didn't recognize the ring. I don't exactly get a lot of calls. And the battery is dead. Great way to start a Sunday morning. I've got a spare battery in my drawer. It should still be charged. Eater's cell dead. I don't need to set the alarm as I'm already up. I'm not going to be able to get back to sleep. The computer is busy crunching numbers. Now I was promised that there's a battery in here. Where did I leave the key to my door? It still smells in the cabinet. I don't want to move the masking tape. What about the papers? I finished those equations last night. I should hold on to a page with the results. Sure. There's a key. Microwave. He certainly lives a very minimalist life. Fridge. Microwave, bed, desk, and a camera tripod. Uh, inventory key. How do I use key on drawer? There we go. It's drag and drop. There's my spare battery. Now combine battery with phone. I did it. I need to figure out who called me. It's just the cheapest prepaid phone plan I could get. 
I don't get a lot of calls, so I didn't need any bells and whistles. Who should I call? Check caller ID. That's the lab number. <clears throat> it's probably Dr. Morales. But what's he doing so early? Hello? Dr. Morales, did uh, you just call me? Eddings? Ed. Yeah, it's me. Oh, good. Listen, I need your help with something. Now? It's like 6.30 in the morning. On a Sunday. Is it? I didn't <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah, you kind of did. I'm sorry, I just... I guess I kind of lose track of the world when I'm... Hmm. I know, it's it's okay. So, uh, what do you need me to do? First, I need you to confirm something. Did you finish those equations I gave you on Friday? Yes! Uh, just last night, actually. Good. Do you have the results? Okay, so I have to use... Equation results on conversation? Spot on. There's definitely an inverse relationship between attraction and proximity. Dr. Morales, you still with me? I'm here. It's truly astonishing. And wait until you see my proof. You were right all along. This is a vindication of... I'm going to destroy them. Them? Them? The research, the data, the results. I'm destroying it all. But resonance, it's your life's work. You can't just... I've been here all weekend thinking about it. This isn't a scientific or a mathematical dilemma. It's an ethical one. And trust me, I much prefer my problems to be hypothesized, tested, and quantified. You're wrong. It is math. Everything is. The potential for good far outweighs the possibility of misuse. You can't deprive the world of such... Danger? Someone's been following me, Eddings. I know it. Just please, don't destroy anything yet. I'll come in right now. I'm on my way. Wait for me. We presumably need pants. Oh, <clears throat> we get there with the power of cutscenes. <laughs> seven, seven thirty. Six thirty seven. Uh, these two. I'd rather do the earliest time then, I guess. To do things in chronological order. This train is familiar. Next stop, Imperiali Plaza. Please stand clear of the doors. We, uh, we remember this. From Unavowed. And also from, um... Techno Babylon. The doors will now close. Please stand clear of the doors. Miss, you dropped a coin. Use coin on woman. Um, excuse me? Sorry, I'm really busy. I don't want to be rude, but I've got to read these reports for work. Oh, it's just that... Did you drop this? <laughs> oh my god. Scooch, 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 scooch. Thank you so much. I can't believe I dropped it. If you hadn't picked it up, I... It's more than just a regular coin, I take it? You could say that. Look, sorry I tried to brush you off there. It's just... You run into a lot of creeps on the subway, and... Right. You do run into a lot of creeps... in the world. The coin? I guess it's kind of my lucky charm. It's kept me out of trouble for almost 20 years, so I guess that's something. What's this? Her coin, Cole Morales. I don't know what these are. Let's just continue with this. Where did you get it? Where'd you get the coin? Well... 
Come on, spill it. It was, uh... Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine, I... Probably too personal to share with some weird guy you just met on the subway. I should just stop talking, shouldn't I? No, I appreciate You just shoehorned yourself into the weird role. Something I'd rather not talk about. Twenty years? You kept a coin for that long? Yeah. I <clears> just <throat> got kind of attached to it. Also good morning, Rama. Oh, I mean I would have lost it ages ago. I lost a car once. <laughs> How does one lose a car? Long story. I'm too absent minded. That coin wouldn't last a week in my pocket. Especially if I kept taking it out and fiddling with it like you do. I do that? Oh, uh, what I meant was, you know, I see you on this train almost every day, and I just happen to notice. I promise I'm not like a stalker or anything. I promise I'm not a stalker. You do fiddle with it, don't I? Yeah. Well, I would have lost it today if you hadn't picked it up for me. I guess I really lucked out this time. I'm glad I could help. That's it? Yes. So unless we can use coin on conversation. I actually don't believe in luck. You don't. We can. See, the universe is pretty much governed by laws, right? Take flipping a coin, for example. If you hit heads five times in a row, you might feel pretty lucky. But mathematically, that's just as likely as any other possible outcome. Our brains are trained to find patterns and ascribe meaning to them. Believing in the coin's inherent luck might make you more receptive to the positive events in your life. Or equally likely, having the coin gives you extra confidence, which feels like luck. Either way, it's just your brain seeing patterns where there aren't any. I'm rambling, aren't I? Maybe you're right. Maybe it is silly and superstitious. But I don't understand why ascribing meaning to things is so wrong. I never said it was wrong, per se. I'm sorry, I'm a mathematician. Better with numbers than with people. Spend enough time with numbers and you tend to see everything as an equation. I can imagine. Anyway, I, I hope I didn't upset you or anything like that. Like I said, I'm bad with people. Sorry. Can we do it again? No. So we should go away. That's your stop coming up, isn't it? <laughs> I thought you said you weren't a stalker? I'm not. I just noticed. Yes, I'm off the next stop. Next stop, Aventine Central Hospital. Please stand clear of the doors. Right on cue. That went well. I guess I'll see you around. Thanks again. No problem. I'm Ed. Anna. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Her pants are disturbingly, like, if not for the fact that she's honey, honeyed face, I would have believed that that was skin-colored legs. Just you and me now. What the? What's going on? Not good. Some kind of power surge. Thank God for emergency brakes and lights. Homeless man. Um. Sir? Wake up. There's been some problem with the train. Hello? I guess he'll be fine until helps arrives. In fact, he probably won't even notice anything. Cigarette butts? Pole? Movie poster? Subway door? That's as far as I can force it. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull the pole out.
Litter. Cigarette butts. What do we even do? Loose something said loose something. There we go. Use Jimmy on door. There we go. Darkness. Hey. Hey. Maybe he'll have sobered up by the time help arrives. Okay, so it was this one, which we've now done. Then in order, it is... No, this one was meant to come first. Except where... A tiny version of the Indian lady. Okay, can we hide in the chest? There's a lock. Can we get out the window? It's too high to jump. We hide under the bed. Wait. I didn't lock the door. Oh no! Well. There's a monster! I can't move it. Junk? Do I have anything in our inventory? And then the monster eats us? And time rewinds. I'm assuming that's a fail state. Okay, so first thing I meant to lock the door, apparently. We hope that that slows him down. Teddy bear? It's Senor Bear! Can he help me? Wait, I remember something. He wants to help, but I'm not sure how. There's something written on his tag. Uh, 591. The monster's gonna break in. Five. Nine. One. It's my treasure. What is it? I remember. Anna's treasure, a jar full of coins. Can we use coins on vent? That's it. I know how to open the 
but I can't do it with a jar. Then how do we open the coin jar? There we go. You use the jar again and it gives you the coin. And then coin on vent. Just in time to escape the monster. Maybe. Oh, but the vent turns into a suction. We were having a nightmare. And she does have skin colored legs. She's less honeyed in that scene. Or maybe it's a different girl. Next in the sequence of time is this one. Dawn in Aventine City. The sun's beams glide between the buildings like a man's strong fingers through a dame's hair. The sight made me realize just how long I've been out here. <laughs> I was like, it's so noir, and then it, a dame's hair. Some low-level cat burglar caught breaking into the computer chip factory of town had named this post office as a contact point for his buyer. Normally, I'd say this wasn't the kind of lead that warranted an all-night stakeout. But the chief's dogged insistence that I drop this case pretty much guaranteed I was going to follow it through. Why did she want me off this case so bad? Could the chief have some connection to this criminal organization? I had a lot of questions, and my gut was telling me exactly two things. One, that I was hungry. And two, that it was Reggie's turn to go get some donuts. Uh, no. I got us those sandwiches a couple hours ago, remember? Yeah, but you didn't get the donuts. So, how did you get the chief to sign off on this stakeout? Oh, right. About that. If anyone asks, we were patrolling the neighborhood around the arson all night. I'm not gonna get reprimanded for this, am I? Relax, Reg. Sir! A guy with shifty eyes is entering the building. What are you doing? That guy came from the alley. We don't have visibility down there. Which means when he leaves, we're gonna lose him. I've got to get us a better line of sight. How are you gonna do that without them seeing you? Humanity lost. I'll throw some eyes in the back of my head. This is against regulations. You're out of the military now, Reg. This is police work. Sometimes you gotta pick which orders you're gonna follow, and other times you gotta make your own orders. Detective Bennett. Going radio silent. Be careful. <laughs> Dodge. Graffiti. Trash. As a cop, I know I'm supposed to clean the streets, but I'm not touching that. Shop door? It's locked. Stripped car. Even if I needed a vehicle, I wouldn't take this one. It doesn't have wheels. On light news site, the Abbott Post claims to have evidence of Vice President Bruckman's struggle with mental disease. $3.25 to read more. Rumours and gossip. Reprint, reprint a blog. Newspapers are trying harder and harder to, to stay relevant. Okay, so there were several doors. Not a lot of places he could have come from. Through the doors or over the fence. I've got to find... A way to watch him when he leaves. No place to hide back here, though. So we could go through door 12, 11, 10, fence, trash. Can I jump the fence? Can I hide in the trash? Can I sit on the bus bench and pretend to be waiting for the bus? I can certainly sit on the bench. What about the bus stop thing?
Can I just go in the place? We can just go in. What if we wait? No, I'm not seeing much of anything else. Oh, I thought this was a timer. But it's a, um... Extremely old school style, how many puzzles have you solved points counter. It doesn't seem like waiting on the bus stop is the solution. My trusty revolver. Can I... Oh, we could mix things. Um... Use bus stop on bench. Ah, we could fill our inventory with things. Can I use bus stop on bench? No. Can I use... Newspaper vendor on bench. Ooh, there's a... Yeah, it's Sean. Okay, a mirror. It's not going to break off with my hands. Okay, let's use gun on mirror. I'd rather not, but I want the mirror. Was there something down the side alley that I missed? Door, 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 fence. Sunlight. As a cop working the inner city, I don't get to spend a lot of time in the sun. I need a vacation. What would we use to smack off the car mirror if not our gun? I suppose I didn't try my wallet. That won't work. Use vacation on bus stop? <laughs> Newspaper vendor on tiny car mirror? Use police badge on car to get it towed. Use... Ooh, crumbling bricks. Okay, brick on mirror. You never know when it will come in handy to have a brick. So often in my real life have I just seen a brick and decided, yes, I'm going to carry that with me for the rest of the day. Brick on car mirror. Steel car mirror. And now how do I use this to- Ah, I stand on the bench and I use mirror on bench. Ho ho! So does he go into 10, 11 or 12? That's a pretty good view. 
But the guy carrying a mirror is going to stick out like, like a sore thumb. I have to fix that. So now I need a costume. Ah, we also need to hide it in, in, in a newspaper. Uh, so we're also going to destroy the newspaper thing. I'd rather pay. Oh, use wallet on newspaper vendor. Use mirror for selfie on vacation. Uh, it seems to want thin pieces of plastic, not thin pieces of leather. We open wallet and get badge plus credit card. We go credit card plus newspaper. Vendor equals newspaper. Newspaper plus car mirror. I'm on the right track, but I won't be able to hide a car mirror in there. Well, my intention was that I use newspaper. We can just read the newspaper. Is the vice president on antipsychotics? Shocking allegations have brought been brought forward by controversial website The Abbott Post and its founder, Raymond Abbott. The Abbott Post has published transcripts of documents they claim proves that Pri Vice President Buckman is currently taking Trixapril, a medication generally only prescribed to patients exhibiting the symptoms of schizophrenia or mania. If proven true, the report would be an earth, earth shaking for the political landscape with the election looming in November. The allegations are especially in since Buckman's son, Linus, died at this year, well, earlier, presumably. Oh, wait, can we scroll? No, we can't scroll. So this is presumably context and law. There's some vice president who's got issues. I've got the looking casual part down, now for the eyes in the back of my head. Well, that's what the newspaper was for. Oh, the car mirror, sorry. So what? Newspaper. Sure. And then... Maybe I have to use... Mirror while I'm in that newspaper mode? But there's no ability to use items here. Maybe we use mirror first and then we use post office. Uh, sorry, newspaper. Also no, because this is also a, a view where we can't use anything. How do I use both? They won't let me mix them. Do I smack the mirror into smaller pieces? I smack the mirror into- now can I use it? Look at me, I'm like MacGyver. Perfect timing. How's this for nonchalant? One, two, one, one, two, three. In door 11. Two, one, three. Gotcha. What was that? 
getting the job done. By breaking orders? How many times do I have to explain to you? This isn't the military, Reggie. It's police work. Sometimes you have to make hard... Yo. Oh. Power all over the city is going out. Mirror Master achievement unlocked. What the hell was that? It looks like a blackout. Power's coming back. And it's back. All's well that ends well. I guess. Anyway, I hope you were paying attention from up there. To you, breaking regulations? <laughs> to me, adjusting the operation's parameters based on changes in the field. Permission to speak freely, Detective Bennett? Not the military. What I saw was unnecessary, irresponsible, and hasty. We could have redeployed tomorrow with a better vantage on the alley. Reggie, these guys could have moved on by tomorrow. Sometimes you have to call an audible. Besides, I got what we needed. All's well that ends well. That kind of ends justify the means philosophy. Never cut it in the military. Welcome to the police force, Detective. Bennett, do you copy? This is Bennett. You notice that citywide blackout we just had? Looks yes. Like lit up again now. Yeah, and so are the phones. We've got little mini emergencies all over Aventine. Calling in all available officers to help out. What can we do? There's a subway car stuck near Humphrey Street Station. And we're getting reports of a but, fire But, but, but we just know- in the FD. They're deployed all over the city right now. We're trying to direct them where it's needed most. Could one of you check out Juno and the other help out on Humphrey Street? Radio back if additional emergency services are required. A sure thing. Thanks. Reg, you get the subway. I'll check out the fire at the lab. Yes, sir. Thank you, Vama. 213. Notepad. Uh, it was door XI knock 213. An untitled notepad document exists. Okay, and then the last time that we haven't been to. Okay, I've got to get right on this. I'd better check my notes in the phone. Oh, God. Polch. Richudinous. Characterized by or having great physical beauty and appeal. Word of the day. Memo. Facts. Secretive medical program. Office on the seventh floor of Aventine City General Hospital. Large mainframe computer. Restricted access. Oh my god, it's scroll. Okay. This phone is not <laughs> Paul Shredudinous. Uh, no, it's also weirdly shaped. Although maybe it's just in a, um, a weird shaped phone holder. The receptionist leaves at 7.30, somehow connected to a Batra. Goals. Delay the secretary's replacement. Tick. So stuff happened off screen. This is, this is cool. Um, like normally if you get a list of things to do, you have to do every single one, but entering part way through a plan is, is a cool thing that we need to, I, I think we should see more of in games. Borrow maintenance uniform. And this is like, this is, this provides context that we're like partway through our little con job here. Pose as mainframe repairman, get rid of secretary, hack into mainframe, discover purpose of mainframe, search antivorta files for a batra. Oh, we can change the background colour.
we can turn on our email alerts. I don't need to make any phone calls. From A. Batra, congratulations on your big story. You're making headlines. You have the ear of people. Now that I've helped you, it's your turn to help me. I look forward to reading the article we discussed very soon. I don't know, I want the other email. <laughs> From Jay. I don't care what we owe this A. Batra guy. A story advocating the sacrifice of privacy in exchange for security is not exactly in line with our site's philosophy. You've built a reputation here, why squander it? I've done some poking around for info on them, and all I can find is something called anti vorta We should check that out before doing anything else. How do I leave? Ah, oh, there. There's leave phone. Ah, uh, him. Welcome to the anti vorta project. Please state your business. Uh, I'm here to phone? Hey, do you want to see my- Sorry, why are you here? Me? Oh, uh... I'm a server man, but apparently not. Never mind. I thought we were pretending to be a server man. No, the drawer they probably won't let us walk to. Yeah, I have to get rid of the secretary first. Abstract art. I'll leave it where it is. Terminal. Um, excuse me, sir. Don't touch the box, please. Sorry. Draw. Draw is for anti-water users only, sir. Please don't touch it. Sorry. Uh, clock? I can't reach it. According to the clock, it's a couple of minutes after 7.30 in the morning. You think this is what causes the blackout? Ah, can I change my phone alarm and then make it seem like it's 7.30 so she goes away? Where was the phone alarm? I would have assumed it's set up in alerts, but there isn't actually a phone alarm. The signal off, email, and battery. I've got no idea. Maybe I can remember clock? And tell her, look, it's time to... Excuse me. Ma Please stay. Let's see, would you happen to know what time? Excuse me? Who are you? Oh, uh... I am the clock. Let's see, would you happen to know what time? Excuse me? Who are you? Oh, uh... No. Never mind. Okay, what if we memorize mainframe? Can I say that I am a mainframe repairman? Business, sir. I'm, uh, here to fix the mainframe. I wasn't aware that the mainframe was in need of repairs, sir. Oh, well, I was told to run some diagnostics. What with the citywide power outage and all. In that case, I'm sure you know what to do. Ask what she's doing right now, flirt, or say thank you. You look like you're in the middle of something important. I'm just writing a strongly worded email to my boss, who just asked me for his password for the 17th time. I'm informing him of where he can shove his stupid questions. 
Won't you get in trouble for sending emails like that? Yes. I never said I actually intended on sending it. It's a therapy exercise. <sighs> haven't you ever written a letter and then crumpled it up? I suppose I haven't. Trust me, it's much better than six months of anger management training. Trust me. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Sounds like she's accidentally sent one of those emails at some stage. You're looking rather pokertudinous today. <clears throat> what? Pokertudinous. Characterized by or having great physical beauty and appeal. Are you attempting to woo me with an astonishingly large vocabulary, sir? Is it working? No. Damn. As if we didn't have to memorize polkitudinous and then use it. Say, would you happen to know what time it is? Sure, let me check. Crap, 7.30 already? Look, sir, my shift's over and I gotta get going. I don't know where the next girl is, but she should be here any minute. Something tells me she's going to be delayed. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I'm supposed to lock the door if I'm not here, but are you gonna be okay in here alone? I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Good. Just keep an eye on the box for me and don't let anyone touch it, okay? No matter who they say they are. Especially if they're the maintenance, the server maintenance man. Okay, success. And we have made some more progress. So can we go look at the files? There are hundreds of folders in here, each with a serial number. What one should I look at? I have to type something in. I have to type something in. So what was the uh the gay the guy the person's name? Phone, 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 I need the phone. Give me my phone. I need to look up. A. Batra. Okay, what about Batra? No, what about the top drawer? No, what about just Batra? No, what about the third draw? Oh. What about just Batra? No. Do we use our USB steely thing on computer? Maybe if I find somewhere to plug it in. Do we plug it into the abstract art? That's not how you use one of these. Okay, what if we try and use the computer? Ah, here's the USB. E. Walters. I'll just keep notes of any passwords I come across in my phone. Password thingy on USB port. Run passcrack.exe. E. Walters is a valid username. The password is password. Running a bit late. From Sarah. Sent today. Emma. Sorry. Going to be a bit late. I left my apt oh, apartment and my tires were slashed. What the? Who would do that? Hope you see this before you take off in the morning. Can you cover me? I'll just be an hour or so late. I gotta go deal with this jerk tow truck driver who thinks I'm interested in hearing about his ex-wife. Frowny face. From A. Jones. Hey, could you send me my anti-Vora login and password? I need to send it to someone and can't remember. 
Send it right away. Dr. A. Jones. A. Jones at Aventine General. Attention, Antivora personnel. Today's list of approved users are Dr. Allen, Dr. Shoemaker, and Congressman Lemon. Dr. Jones, anyone else attempting to access the terminal should be reported immediately. Attention, Antivora personnel. Today's approved terminal users are Dr. Allen, Dr. Bellows, Arnold Gramble, Frederick Heimlin, Dr. Fedorov, and myself. Anyone else attempting to use the terminal should be reported. Could you switch with me on Monday as well? Sorry. Something important has come up. I really like two chain shifts with you on Tuesday. Can you work the 7.30 to 5 shift and I'll take your graveyard? It's really important. Dear idiot. First of all, my name is not Hey, it's Emma. Second of all, turn off your caps lock. It doesn't make you sound important. It makes you sound like an idiot. I can't remember your anti- You can't remember your anti Vora login again? I can't even count how many times I've explained this. Please study this as carefully. Uh, as you study the front of my blouse. Wow. It's the first three letters of your first name and the first three letters of your last name. Not hard. And I can't send you your password because I don't know it. You have to use the system to reset it if you can't remember. And for goodness sake, do not give your password to anyone. Tech support will never ask for your login information. Sincerely, hey, PS right equals right. P.P.S. Don't throw your aluminium cans in the non-recyclable trash can when there's a recycling bin in the hallway. Can we click send? <laughs> We're getting the poor, the poor mm, misabused or the poor misabused uh, secretary lady fired or having to be sent to more anger management classes. Let's meet, my love. I think you're right. It's time to meet. I know the place. I know this place near Aventine General Hospital, the Fairmont Inn. There's a fantastic restaurant on the top floor. Let's meet tomorrow night for dinner. Love, Steve. From Mr. Single. Dearest Amy, our conversation last night was incredible. My fingers were cramping up from clacking away at the keyboard all night chatting with you. I almost couldn't grip the steering wheel in my race this morning. I won it anyway. I feel there's a deep connection with you that has grown over the past couple of days, and I cannot explain it. We're on the same wavelength. I haven't had anyone I could talk to like this in a long time. I hope you feel the same way. Dear Amy, wow, a detective? Really? Can you imagine us teaming up? I'd speed all around town chasing after villains, and you'd examine clues to lead us to the, our next high-speed chase. We'd be superheroes. Here's to dreaming anyway. I find the fact that you're a detective to be attractive. This matchmaking service turned out pretty great. I'm glad I gave it a shot. Can't wait to hear from you again. Dear mystery woman, I've never tried one of these services, so I'm not really sure how it works. I guess I'll start by introducing myself. I'm Steve. I'm a professional race car driver living in Upper East Side, Aventine. I, dis I like action and having fun and dislike sitting in offices and wearing suits. My life moves as fast as my stock car down the final stretch, and that's how I like it. I'm moving. I'm looking for someone to take to the movies and enjoy some fine dining on town. Even though my life is fast paced, I don't mind taking it slow with relationships. If, as this singles website has calculated, we are right for each other, and that's why it said right, we'll definitely have a good time. Sincerely, sincerely Steve. Trash. Nothing. Now, we got the clue that it was the first three letters of, um... Wait, where was our thing about it being the first three letters of the first name and the first three letters of the last name? 
There's no like sent documents one. There should be sent for if you've sent it. Yeah, that's poor design. They shouldn't let you erase important information from like being able to see it. Does the terminal have a password cracker? It does not. How do I tell what day it is as well? Um, oh my God, we have to use this every time. Wait, maybe I can just type the password. Yes, password is password. Okay. If yesterday was Saturday, then today must be Sunday. Yes. So we could be Alan Schumacher, Congressman Lemon, or Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones, calling Dr. Jones. Jones? 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 Giants. But how am I meant to know their their first name? So this feels like what I need to do is get, get a login person. A Batra, but we don't know. Username A Jones. Okay, then let's try being A Jones. And then password cracker thing. Password is QWERTY. <sighs> Dear idiot. Dr. Jones, seriously, were PhDs on clearance at your college? First of all, my name is not Hay, it's Emma. Okay, so we've, we've got the insulting email. Damn, he never got back to me on this. That would have made things a lot easier. Dr. Jones, this is Mitch down in tech support. How's Pamela? Say we're having some issues with your login. Could you send us your login and password? Ah, so we were pretending to be tech support to try and bamboozle him out of his password. I thank you for answering my prayers. Finally, I can reclaim my late father's fortune. 
In return for helping me transfer the funds to America, I will give you $2 million. How quickly can you wire me the money for the fund transfer? If we don't do it soon, the men who killed my father may stop me. Please send me your bank account number and wire me the funds immediately. Thanks be to Jesus, Father Anthony St. Michael. From Abbasikemi Marubi who is apparently a rich African priest. How is your girth? XX Howdy XX. Hello, valued customer. You've tried our 100% effective lengthening pills and you've, you're undoubtedly running out of ruler. But are you concerned with your girth? Studies show that ladies prefer something robust. Our new pill, the Ever Wide, will be putting your money where her mouth is. No, with our new pill, sorry, you'll be putting your money where her mouth is. Sign up today. Ah, and here's his actual name, Alexi Jones. So we know it's A-L-E-J-O-N. Uh, but what's the username? I think we deleted what the username one was when we clicked send on the email, but we can look at that in his email inbox now, which means it wasn't so bad that it was a sent email because we just have to um, look at this. Blah, 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 blah. No, that was the password. What about the username? You have to use the system to reset it if you can't remember. Well, A-L-E-J-O-N. Let's just try being a... Well, actually, first I want to make a save. Because I don't know if this is going to cause some sort of fail state. But how do we find the password? Do I use phone on this? Presumably I need a screwdriver to unlock that to be able to use the password cracker on it. Or an empty pop can. I could smash it against my forehead, but I've left that ray back at college. I've never had much of a green thumb. I'll leave the plant alone. Well, the only thing I can imagine is using the can on the... This is a screwdriver. Is there something else in the bin? Do we use the can on the art? Do 
Do we go away and come back? The drawer is full of cotton swabs. Does the cotton swab somehow? I can't do anything while it's closed. Maybe I'm misunderstanding this. What if we enter the wrong password? Type help for more info. Password reset. Aled John. Password sent to email address associated with your username. Okay, and so we go back to the other computer and we look at our newly reset password. Your new password is DPQ2. D P Q two. What? Ella John. D P. Oh, was it D Q P two? Okay, wrong way around. Insert DNA sample for verification. I'm sorry, what? How the hell am I meant to have a- Oh, because he's thrown away that use swab on can. Remember that the, the male said the lady was complaining like, don't throw away your used soda cans in our trash can. So we get his DNA from the soda can, and then we use that to prove that we're him. That is some pretty high tier, like, very point and click adventure gamey logic, but it works. Uh, enter command. Help again. Search, run, exit, help. Search. Search Antivora project files, data pace by FTTN. File transfer teletext number. Uh, search database by sample. Let's search the files. I want to search for Batra. A Batra. Document ET873. Help. Help. Help, not elp. Back. Fiber to the node. Uh, except that I it was ETH73. So I'm going to actually have to do that again. Uh, help. And it was... Fine. Back. One, Batra, I'm going to write that down so I can't forget it, ET873, not H, 
back. Search based on file number, maybe? Uh, ET873. Malformed F fiber to the node. Enter properly formatted fiber to the node. Can I exit? Goodbye. At least we don't have to go through the prove that we're him sequence again. Help. Run? We don't seem to have a way of uploading a program on here to run. Help? Back to the main menu. That was just instinct. Uh, help. <laughs> like, what, what level of the directory am I at? Duh. No, no. Uh. Oh, Vama wants me to be LSing. LS, 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 LS. Uh, search. So what else have we got? Maybe there was something I missed in searching for the files. Maybe you need to say document ET873. Search by DNA sample. Okay. We could search for us. Okay, so that gives us our own our own FTN. Dr. Alexi's fiber to the node is 2287-PF-9346. Hyphen hyphen 2287-PF-9346, hyphen check. And then it's got some sort of genetic code. Name, Raymond Abbott, fiber to the node, this. Everyone in the city has their DNA on file at the office without their knowledge or consent. Once all this is over, I'm going to win a Pulitzer Prize for sure. Ha ha! We finally got Grocket. Uh, so now I look at my own fiber to the node thing. So it was help. Search. Help. Search. Oh, slash search. Yes, yes, yes. That's my bad. And then it was two. And then I need to enter... 2287 hyphen PF hyphen 9346. Oh, so it already did that as part of the previous thing. Okay, so we're done. 
Did you notice the gold rocket? <laughs> and yeah, we're doing well. <sighs> Am I allowed to leave now? Is that it? No. So what else am I still supposed to do? Where's my like list of things to do? You've been getting frustrated by RimWorld? I haven't played RimWorld in a while. I could play some RimWorld, but I'm, I'm still at the moment super addicted to the um, space axolotls. Find out if I'm in the database and find file, ooh. ET8, oh, I meant to look for ET837 in the physical files. Please just close the phone. ET873. I've got it. The Eleven Foundation, P.O. Box this, contact A. Batra Aventine here. One step closer to Mr. Batra and one step closer to finding out exactly what the anti vorta project does. And now we go here. And we do search by sample. And then how do I use swab on myself okay it just automatically does it if you click it swab me i can't believe this they have my entire dna here without my knowledge or permission shit what have i gotten myself into It's some sort of secret DNA database. I'm not sure what the purpose is, but I've got a lead on someone who does. A Batra at the Eleven Foundation. Oh. Uh, remember, but Rocket was trying to get us to do one of those stupid ancestry kits. Um, time to make my exit before the next secretary arrives. Achievement unlocked. Get the scoop. Oh. And then we escape from the... Stuck train into a graveyard. Look, isn't that Juno Labs? Oh, and middle distance comes into focus. And we've completed the intro. Resonance by Vince 12. And then he gets donked again. Ay ay ay. Uh, how do I? The, the only way I know how to do this is by doing this. So just a sec. Uh, short notice. There. Now you. Now you're only timed out for one second. <laughs> Laboratory entrance, janitor, laboratory sign. I can't do anything with the sign. What about Dr. Yan Ito? Um, excuse me? What? Who's there? What do you want? What happened? Could you tell me what happened to the building? Oh, I sure could, little man. It was a Sunday morning, just like any other. Or at least that's what I thought it'd be. I figured the most excitement I'd have today would be going home and watching Yentl again. That Barbara, she knows how to warm an old man's heart. Please yeah, keep talking. Yeah, something, huh? Oh, did I tell you I used to be in showbiz? Not many people know this, but I was going to be one of the backup dancers in Funny Girl back in 68. 
Of course, then my mother had to have surgery, so I had to stay home and take care of things around the house. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, so I come into work as usual. Uh, I'm in the chem lab, mopping up the floors, dancing the cha-cha-cha. I'm nowhere near as agile as I used to be when I was younger, you see, but I get by. These I, I don't have the heart to interrupt him. The way they used to. Imagine the content we'd be denying ourselves. Back when I was just a spring chicken, the ladies went absolutely wild for my moves. Oh, Saul, what a dreamboat, they'd say. Because I never met one I liked all that much. But such is life. Oh dear, I'm getting off track again, I'm sorry. I was at the part where I was mopping, right? That's when I start to feel this little tingly feeling in my head. Then all the lights go out and there's this stinging heat and this vibration. Not like an earthquake or nothing, more like when those young hoodlums drive by my place at 3 a.m. blasting their hippity- Dunce, dunce, dunce. I don't even want to call it music, it all sounds like womp, womp, womp to me. Oh, yeah, it's a mothership. My brain's out, you know? It's and an FTL mothership. It goes womp, womp, womp. Enough. Anyhow, at the lab, it was uh, just like that. Except there wasn't any sound. Just silence. The sound of silence. It's come back on, but a bunch of power cables get loose. And I'm thinking to myself, well, that's just great, Saul. You're gonna die in this godforsaken lab. Please. Keep talking. Then my whole life starts to flash by. First, I'm a baby. Then a school. <laughs> my whole and life. And dancer <laughs> all over the world meeting Barbara. Or at least I would have if mother didn't have to get so sick and everything. All the way up to this very moment in time. And then, just when I think the end is near, I see the window. Right there, beckoning suggestively, showing me the Beckoning path. suggestively. Since it doesn't open, I have to break it open. <laughs> they had the voice actor for the whole day. They're going to get the whole day's use. Only it's a bit of a fall, so now my ankle's all messed up. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Achievement unlocked. A good listener. Can I talk to him about his story? Quite a story you have to tell now. All I need is someone to listen. Preferably someone else. Can I tell you about Anna's lucky coin? No. Necessary or well advised. Dr. Morales. Uh. No. So there's nothing else I can do there. I don't have anything in my memory. The only thing we could do is ask him about a pipe. Uh, so we say no. Don't go any I told you, I can't go anywhere because of my ankle, remember? Concrete slab. <laughs> I'm not really the muscle bound type. Pipe on slab? This bar might help with leverage on something weak like those subway doors, but this hollow bar isn't going to apply enough pressure to budge this thing. <sighs> Broken window. Help boost me up? Ah, here's how we exit back to the other area. So how do we force him to fix himself? Water? Smoke? Can I remember the smoke? Can I remember the water? Can I remember the concrete slab? Can you help me with any of those things? Back again, boy. What do you know about the concrete slab? That big chunk of wall blocking the front door. That better not come out of my paycheck. I didn't. That's not what I'm talking about. I need to move it to get into the building. You've got to help me push it out of the way. I'd love to, son, except I can't even get up. But I've got to get in there. 
Don't remember if I told you, but I've got a messed up ankle. I can't even stand. Maybe I can help you with that. Detective Bennett, ACPD. Something the matter here, gentlemen? Good day, officer. To the lab immediately. Dr. Morales is probably still in there, and... Hey, don't look at old Saul. I told you I broke my ankle getting out of the building, didn't I? This Dr. Morales, is he a co-worker of yours? My boss. Look, he's in the building. He's hurt. And you know this for sure. You've seen him. Well, no, but he... Well, I'm going to need to go inside and assess the situation. Can't you just call for an ambulance or something? Not unless we know for sure that we need one. The whole city's overrun with emergencies right now on account of the blackout. So, as you can imagine, resources are spread pretty thin. Hey, now, what about my ankle? <laughs> I'll try to go to the hospital after I check things out inside. All right, Mr. Eddings. Call me Ed. Okay, Mr. Eddings. Ed. Ed Eddings. Take a quick look inside, and once I can confirm that an ambulance is needed, I'll call for one. Ah, we can transform between people. And not just between ghost man and lady, but now we can become a policeman. It's too heavy. What if I became other person and tried to come help? He twisted his ankle, Vama. He's not going to die. Hmm. What about... You, Ed. What's up? All right, smart guy. What do we do next? We need to get inside. I see. Two I mean, I was trying to use you to jump the... Or try to move that boulder. I was going to try and get you to help me up through here, but... I don't know how. Ah, I didn't even need to write it down. We remember it. What the hell was that? It looks like a blackout. Can I remember this and then say... Hey, Ed. What's up? Hey, Ed, let me try boosting you up that window. Good idea. You take a look around for your friend. But if you see anything that could put you in danger, you come right back hmm. out, all right? I was kind of hoping it would be the other way around. That the policeman would be the one to go, but... Oh, there's a fire. And it gets locked off, and the water is electric. Valve? I can't turn it with my hands. Do we still have the pipe? I'm going to need a wrench. What about a pipe? I don't think that's a very good application of a blunt metal object. Okay. The panel is screwed on tight. What? If you do a one second one, it undoes them. I've done that before and it worked. No, I didn't. I said one second. I timed you out for one second. 
I've done that dozens of times to like Salar and other people. It's locked. Do it to you too. Uh, no, well, yeah, we can do that. Time out. Omega V weapon. Let's do it, say, to start with. Oh, slash timeout. Omega. Oh, it's a double V. V V Epen. 600 and then if we set it to one instead then you should be able to talk again as far as I understand and no it's locked It's also locked. <laughs> There's a no smoking sign that's been covered up right next to the ashtray. Uh... Somehow I don't think touching, going to touch the fuse box thing is... Let's make a save in case it kills us. See? But maybe it only does it if you overwrite your own one and not if I overwrite the... I'm sure I've had it overwrite the Moobot one before, though. Um, like... Really, really sure. So I can't touch this one until I can touch this one. I can't touch this one until I get a screwdriver. Or a wrench. This needs a screwdriver. The other one needs a wrench. These are both locked. I don't know, I think so. I think it works the same for everyone, Grocket, as far as I know. Can I send the policeman in instead? Any luck finding your friend? No, I couldn't get to the lab. I saw a fire start through the glass doors. I radioed in for fire support, but all the trucks are deployed around the city right now. They're calling in everybody- A fire support. On our own for a while. That's not acceptable. <laughs> There's a downed power cable causing all kinds of trouble in the main hallway. The sprinkler system is not working, and some leaking water shorted out a security panel and shut the emergency door. We've got to get to Dr. Morales as soon as possible. He's hurt. Look, relax. He might be fine. You find a way to get me through that window, and we'll find a way through that hallway together. If we don't find him in time... Buddy, standing here considering different scenarios isn't going to get us to him. The only time for worrying is when you have no more options. We're not there yet. All right. Good. Now find me a ladder or a rope or something to get my fat ass up there. <laughs> okay. But there is no fire or, uh, sorry, there is no ladder or rope in the area. And I can't swap people whilst they're doing the animation. Uh, 
I need to account for any bullets I use, and this operation is strictly off the record. Show our badge to the concrete slab. <laughs> okay, what if I talk to you about it? Hey, Ed. You should take another look. Okay. No, I was hoping that if we talk the other way around, it sends the other person up. Well, let's just test if that is so and if I did the same one twice in a row, because that's possible. Mr. Yeah. Thanks. Excuse me. Hmm? Detective, would you mind? No problem. Yeah, no. No matter which way round you do it, um, it is boost up nerd. No, there's nothing in the ashtray. We can't use pipe on ashtray. Sorry. Yeah. I need a hint. Anything? You better find a way to get me inside. Think. Where might we find the rope or something? Hmm. Do I go back to the sewer? Can we smack the door? I think the implication is that the big... The boulder, the concrete slab is in the way of doing anything to the door. There's got to be a better solution than brute force here. Well, uh, if there is, I don't know what it is, so... Hey, you. Hi. Hey, Ed. Okay. What if we talk to the guy whilst we're the, um, policeman? Can we hear his life story again? Yes, Saul Goldstein, officer. Divorced. Two cats. Yellow ones. Whiskers and Dr. Doctor. That's... Dr. Doctor. Sir, I'm gonna need to ask you a few questions. So, let's stay on topic. Sir, yes sir. What happened? I need you to tell me exactly what happened this morning. Well, you see, Detective, it was a Sunday morning <laughs> just like any other. <laughs> Think about what happened at the laboratory, sir. Don't waste my time. I've got important things to do. Right. Uh, okay. I saw the lights go out, and then it got hot, and I felt a vibration. Not like an earthquake or nothing, more like when those young hoodlums... I don't have all day. Uh, and the lights... Came back on, and there were loose cables and fires, so I broke the window with my trusty wrench and jumped. Much to the dismay of my ankle. Is that all? I think so. Good. That makes it sound like there's a wrench available here. Can you tell that story again downtown? I've got to see a doctor about this ankle first. Fine. Oy vey. That's all. I saw the lights go out and then it got hot and I felt a vibration. Not like an earthquake or nothing, more like when those young hoodlums... I don't have all day. Uh, and the lights came back on and there were loose cables and fires, so I broke the window with my trusty wrench and jumped. Much to the dismay of my ankle. Which sounds like there should be a wrench on the ground. But wrenches be there none.
Mr. Yeah. Do you have a You better find a way to think. Hmm. Nope, I am bamboozled. Mr. Yeah. No, we, we tried talking about... Look. I'll do it again, just to point out what it is, but... Talking to him about his thing does nothing. Um, excuse Quite a story. All I need. See? You cannot talk to him about his own story. Um, all I Sorry. What do you want? Hmm. Would you? F sure. Can we, if you're following me, can we handle this? Mr. What do you want? Help me with the slap. Dr. Bennett, could you try giving that boulder a push? I'm on it. Okay. We can do it together, but we just didn't understand how we have to interact with objects as a team. Can you get up there now that there's a... No, they won't let us in the entrance until we um, turn off the electricity and water. I don't think it's a good idea to run in here with the power on and the fire going nuts. And we can't pipe the door. I don't think that's a very good application of a blunt metal object. Sorry. Yeah. Detective? No problem. I don't see how having that be open is suddenly better though. See, it feels like this is a multi-step, that we're meant to open this and this stops the water. And then without the water, we have to do something to the electricity still, but that you have to do both of these. If we try and get to this, it says, no, there's too much electricity in there. If we try and do this, it says we don't have the wrench. We tried using the pipe. It says, no, I need a wrench.
The pipe doesn't help there. It doesn't help enter the door. It doesn't help her enter that door. It didn't help with the cigarette pile. It just, it feels like there should be a wrench lying on the ground here. Because he says he used his wrench to do it. But conversations only work on people. It's not like I can tell the window, give me his wrench. Well, let's try talking to him about all the other things as it's about the only other thing that I can think of. So, smoke on him. Um, uh, That's a no. Rub everything on every... other thing. Um, uh, um, did you see... Yep. Ooh, we got slightly more content. Um, excuse me? It's quite a jump from up there. Have I mentioned my bum ankle? I don't want your bum ankle. I want the... the wrench. And it's not like we have the ability to walk back to the uh, subway graveyard. So the, the answer is supposedly in these one, two, three screens. Can I smack this now that it's not? Sorry, detective? Hmm? Here, take this. Sure thing. We can transfer items between people. That's something we haven't been able to do in the uh, other games. Can I give you the gun? An officer does not give his gun to anyone. What about my credit card? I don't, I, I don't ask you to share your credit card information. I just want you to give the credit card and then maybe we can use that to swipe through the door. And yet that's a no. It's not handing over any of the police officer's things. Hey, Ed. Hi. Hold this. Oh, okay. Hey, 
Hey, yeah. Hi. Hey, yeah. Okay. Like, can I tell you to take off your sweater and use it to help pull him up? What other... Do I throw the pipe at the fuse box? Do I use the pipe on the electrified water? No idea, I give up. I give up. Can you remove the no smoking sign? No, it says I won't fiddle with the sign. I'm not covering the sign back up. This just seemed like lore to do with the fact that there's an ashtray and there used to... There used to be a no smoking sign right next to the ashtray, but then there's... All right, obviously those two things are in conflict. What covered up the no smoking sign? I, it was like a health message. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Some pointless message. Nothing that we can look at. It says use the. Use the, the memory about his story on the janitor to get him to give you the wrench. But we did that. And it didn't do anything. Um, quite a story. All I need... Can you tell that? I've got to see a dog. Fine. Oh, that's that's not it. Some some Yahoo is giving a bad advice. I mean, I'm, I'm tempted to shoot him at the moment, honestly. Give me the wrench. Nothing.
supposedly you're meant to memorize the valve. And then talk to the guy about the valve to trigger him to give you his wrench. Sorry. Detective? No problem. Let's just memorize everything. And then try rubbing them all against the Jewish janitor. Um, back. That smoking corner is disgusting. I didn't smoke them, and I'm not cleaning them up. What? If the chemistry department wants to poison themselves in a non-smoking building, they can clean up after themselves. I agree. <laughs> that smoking corner. I what? same thing. I. Uh. That's a no. You wouldn't be able to unlock the server room for me, would you? I don't got the keys for that door. Run them up over one surge protector and they take away your access privileges. Bunch of whiny brats, if you ask me. He accidentally turned off all the servers. You wouldn't be able to unlock the maintenance closet for me, would you? Uh, tell you what, Sonny. Why don't you just take my keys and unlock the Dawn closet yourself? So there's the progress we were missing. Talk to him about keys to get key or talk to him about the door you can't open to get keys. And the other one is this. The sprinkler system valve in the lab doesn't have a handle. Oh, that? Yeah, I noticed that too. I've just been using my wrench to turn it on and off. I keep it in the maintenance closet. And then he doesn't actually have the wrench he's got in the closet, but he gives us the keys to the closet. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I want up the window. Thanks. Come on, memorize window instead of ashtray. Detective? No problem. Okay, and now we have keys plus door. Which unlocks a screwdriver. But not wrench. Still, screwdriver does this thing. I need to stop the water. No, 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 Crockett, as in they need us to press this thing to stop the water at the valve level. I mean, we can try the paper or the, the duct tape, but I, I duct tape does not feel to me like it's going to solve. Yeah, 
Yeah, and duct tape cannot help me here. So we're one step closer, but he didn't actually give me the wrench. Can I use Saul's story? Can I use Valve on you again? The sprinkler. Oh, that? I've just been using my wrench. I keep it in the maintenance closet. Except that it's not there. We just opened the closet because you said you used the wrench to get out. You think it's there? Oh, I'll have another look. Maybe I'm blind. Detective? No problem. No. Nice. I'm going to need your help up there. Let's get going then. Ah, but we can use the ladder on the... Sorry. Yeah. Police detective. And now we no longer need a boost. So it's all the same things. I need a wrench. I haven't turned off the electricity. Wait, what? There's no, he's too fat to fit in the air vent. What if policeman asks about the valve? I've got a few more. I have to go memorize the valve as the policeman, because apparently we don't share short term memories. That's well, then walk over there. Grumble, 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 grumble. So this into you and back outside and back outside, talk to you. I've got it. Don't you think you should replace the handle on that sprinkler valve? I use the wrench I keep in the maintenance closet. We've been through that closet and there wasn't a wrench in there. Oh, but that's impossible. I always keep it there. Try looking harder, maybe. Use your story on you now. Now, you said you used your wrench to break the window. And I'm to believe that you took the time to put the wrench away in the closet before jumping out. Yeah, so that's just... That doesn't make very much sense, does it? Hey, fancy that! It was in my pocket all this time. Sorry about that. So we were gated behind the fact that until we had... This guy's ladder asking him about the same thing with the same option doesn't produce the valid output that you need. Talking to him about his own story until you 
have literally walked upstairs with the policeman won't make him give you the the wrench. Okay. Wrench this to the left. Okay, do it to the right. How am I meant to know which way to do it? Oh, I can ins- <sighs> So the same as um the, the Blackwell one where we didn't get, I mean, at least in the Blackwell one, I got told about this, but I missed it because of going into the save menu. But we can inspect things by right clicking. Sprinkler control valve. Turn left to open. With what, my bare hands? I need a wrench. Turn it not the open way. And we get a nice, pretty clear through animation of the pipe is now not. So now you can't go up the pipe, but we can turn off the electricity. I need to become the other guy because he has the screwdriver. Yeah, there's a little screw holding it shut, so we use the screwdriver. Thank you. Fuse box. Server room, security room, lab AF, lab GN, main entrance and hallway. Got it. Nice job. Now we just gotta take care of them. Any idea? Not yet. Can we turn it even further to the right? No. There's also a new panel. Even if I could figure out how to use this panel to open the door, I'd probably die the minute I stepped through. Hmm. Can we readjust the water now that the fire is out? Or now that the electricity is out? Hey, you. Hi. Thanks. Become him and see if we're now allowed to... Walk here. Touch this. Go the other way in the... I'm going up. Vent? Oh, it might be a question of you need him to be halfway through here and then the water to change location.
And now the water will be behind our guy, but we can move further to the right. Ha ha! There's now a missing pipe, which we should probably memorize. And doubtlessly we will need to go talk to the janitor about missing pipe. I can't possibly climb down while there's all this water here. So become him. Fiddle with the switch again. Become other guy. Check that we've memorized missing pipe. See if we can talk to the janitor about it. Um, excuse me? Uh... No. I was hoping he'd be like, I'm the janitor. I know where, where spare, spare parts are. Hmm. It feels like we're meant to repair the pipe and then once we repair the pipe and put the water back... The water goes into the other room and... Oh, you want us to use the the pipe that we have from, um... I'm going up again. All right. From the... Subway? I don't know why I... I really want turning it to the left to make the water go to the left. But it's the opposite way around. It's not very sturdy, but at least it fits. And now we want the water to go to the right, so we swing it to the left. No, that is not good enough. We probably have to use duct tape as well. So I want it to go to the left, so we spin this to the right. Really? I would have assumed pipe plus missing pipe plus duct tape.
It's not a permanent solution, but it's something. Teamwork, achievement unlocked. Fist bump. We want the water to go to the right, so we turn it to the left. Success! The water isn't coming down. We did it. Come on down, kid. That should be it then. Yeah, we have a clear path to Dr. Morales' lab through the front door. Let's go quickly. Wait, Ed. If he's not, I mean, you have to be ready for him. I'm okay. Let's just go. What if it's worse than that and he's dead, Jim? So there's a code here that we don't know. And we were told to go back out through the normal door. <laughs> also, the way that this has got two empty slots suggests we're going to be controlling up to four people later. Well, there's only one place to go. Doctor! My God. Detective? In case you weren't having him follow you. No. Hey, Ed. Mm. Dr. Morales! Are you okay? I... I don't... Doctor. Time for that ambulance, Detective. Dispatch, this is Detective Bennett. I need an ambulance at the Juno lab immediately. Now, let's get him out of there. It's no use. Those doors were built to prevent people from breaking in. I have to open them using the keypad. Could you just tell me what the password is rather than having me iterate through all combinations of the three, three buttons and four, four long entry. I'm going to destroy Eldor. Uh, noodle ski. The results and the but the potential you can't danger someone. Maybe we. Where's my phone gone? Hole in the wall, office chair. Yeah, we've only got really ultra stumped once, noodle ski. Otherwise, this has been good. Terminal. Security logs. Okay, so it's, it's hurt. None of those do anything. None of these seem to do anything either.
There appears to be an approximately infinite amount of them. None of them do anything. No thermal anomalies detected. Well, what if we set one to max and one to min? And the other way around. Gog in need of repair. Good old games is in need of repair. Result, blah. Calculator. Square root of, no, 16 square root. Nine times eight. Pi times nine times pi. Nice, the calculator is also broken. Hmm. Phone can't detect the QR code. <sighs> the only thing I can think of is to brute force this. We know that it's four numbers and that there's three of them. So one of them repeats twice. It's not going to give me a hint. So it can either be one, one, three, four, or one, one, four, three, or one, three, one, four, one, four, one, three. One, three, four, one, one, four, three, one. And then the iterations of that, that are instead in terms of three being the starting point. So three, one, one, four, three, one, four, one. Three, four, one, one. That set of combinations is much shorter because it doesn't matter whether it's like whether it's three, one, one, four or three, one, one, four. When you swap the two middle ones around, it doesn't matter which way around they are. Those two answers are the same. And then we need four, one, one, three, four, one, three, one, four, three, one, one. Okay, so there's not actually that many combinations to try. One, one, three, four. One, one, four, three. One, three, one, four. One, four, one, three. One, three, four, one. One, four, three, one, three, one, one, four, three, one, four, one. I don't know how we were supposed to work that out other than brute forcing. Dr. Morales. Oh my God, he's got no arms and legs. He's still alive. Where's that ambulance? It's me. It's Ed. Hang on, doctor. Can't. Stay with me. Hold on. But I have no, matter what happens, no arms. I will not let your discovery be misused. I promise. What's the status? Uh, three, one, four, one. Maybe severed. BP very low. The wounds were cauterized at the time of the trauma, which kept... Cauterized? What severed the limbs? Unknown.
They were bleeding an awful lot for something that's supposedly cauterized. Uncle Javi! My angel. Javi, what happened to you? My vault. My... find it. My vault. I don't understand. What vault? Your uncle holds... the key. I don't understand. Find my vault. Find my vault. Uncle Your uncle holds the key. the key. Stay with me. Dr. Morales. I just... I don't understand why this had to happen. We weren't exactly close, but he was still the only family I had left. You weren't close? You weren't close? Well, we were back when I was a kid. Javi was my dad's brother. I remember him being over at our house a lot, visiting with my parents and me. But then my mom died, and my dad a year later. And after that, he pretty much stopped coming around. He never spoke to me again. Until today. Growing up, I always thought it was my fault that I had made him mad at me. I thought he blamed me for his brother's death. Anna. It's all right. I know none of it was my fault. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have anything to do with it. I'm sorry I'm so emotional over something that's nothing to do with me. He knew. He told me people were following him, that they were after his work. But I just assumed he was being paranoid. He gets that way sometimes, so I told him, Damn it! If I just shut up and listen to him. Someone was following him? And the explosion that killed him. Oh god. It wasn't an accident. Before Uncle Javi died, he told me to find his vault. What was he talking about? His research. He must have kept a secret vault somewhere to protect it. He was working on something truly groundbreaking and powerful. If the wrong people got a hold of that kind of information, it could be very bad. Where is this vault? Until today, I had no idea he even had one. I can't process all this. I have something that might help. <laughs> a book? It's his journal. He was always writing in it. It's locked. Like I said, he was paranoid. I don't know the combination, but I might be able to break it open. God, I hope the solution is Dremel. Uh, what was the the solution from Teddy Bear? There. All done. Now you have the key to my treasure. Keep it safe, okay? It didn't actually... It was like 591 or 519. Keep it safe. Okay? He doesn't actually show it. Oh, well, let's. Hmm. This is how many puzzles you've solved. This is like score, Nadolski. This is calling back to truly ancient, um, truly ancient point and click adventures where it would tell you how far through the game you are in terms of puzzles. Why is there a baby angel on the book? It seems a little unusual to me. I couldn't tell you. Does it mean anything to you? Not that I can think of. Nothing about angels, or babies, or birth? Hmm. Para ti, mi sobrina. Wow! It's like a million dollars! <laughs> not quite. And they're not dollars. They're pesos. I put one in this jar every day I was away. That's 365 of them. It's not a lot, but if you save them, maybe someday they can help you when you need it. 
Uncle Javi? Don't go away again. I'm not going anywhere, Anna Angel. Te prometo. Mm. Maybe the password is 365? Hang on a Nope. And nothing here actually shows up as an interactable except for the clip and these. What's this? It's my hospital ID. How is this going to help us? It has my birthday on it. April 22nd, 1982. April 22nd? Described on the cover. You think your birthday's the combination? It's worth a try. Hang on. Okay, so 22-4. Twenty second, January, February, March, April. <sighs> it's an American game, they'll do it the wrong way round. Got it. It was my birthday. What's this? This book bloody Americans. Is some kind of code. He was even more paranoid than I thought. Wait, there's a loose note here. It's not in code. They're after me. Do not trust the police. The police? Somebody called. Detective! I didn't see you there. Ah, uh, so this causes Detective distrust between our party. What? I'm joking, son. Listen, I've pretty much milked the medical staff dry at this point. Are you sure you don't know anything about a vault that Morales may have kept? No. I mean, yes, I'm sure. Alright, we'll get some guys to search his residence. Now this explosion, never seen anything like this in all my years on the force. Tell me, Mr. Reddings, what exactly happened in that lab? It was an accident, a terrible, terrible accident. Someone was after him. Detective, I think someone was fiddling with something in my uncle's lab. No, it's okay, Ed. You don't have to protect him. No one else could have possibly caused the explosion. You and I both know how much disregard my uncle had for rules, even if they were set up for his own safety. That's not what I was going to say, you interrupting Mr. woman. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some follow-up questions back at the station. Of course. A anything I can do to help. And Miss Castellanos, I know you've had a rough day. I have some questions for you too, but they can wait for tomorrow. Do you have a car, or...? No, I ride the subway. That's right. And you said that's where the two of you met. This morning. Although he's been stalking me for a long time. Do we memorize that someone went uh, in the elevator? If it's all right with you, I'd feel better if I gave you a ride home. I'd appreciate a ride. Thank you. Ed, come along with me and we'll drop her off on our way to the station. Sure thing. I don't think he can get in here. How do I get out? So we've already... This is a flashback noodle ski. This is the girl... The, the girl that we just had the birthday number of. When she's a young girl, um, she's currently running away from seemingly a monster that wants to break into her room and do horrible, horrible things to her. We've been eaten by the monster thing before and it just reset back to the last, like, don't fail again point.
Well, let's take a keep the wall on our left approach. Okay, one more. I don't know why we want to go down. Other than that we can. No, no, no. Okay, we're not allowed in that room for some reason. Uh, uh I don't care about which way I'm facing. I care about which way is my left. Spin it around all you like. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that there's a wall on my left and that we keep it there. There's lots of extremely small spiders. I must have dozed off while looking at Uncle Yavi's journal. What was that sound? Someone's breaking into the apartment. Damn it, I must have left my cell phone in the kitchen. I can't let them get in here. Well, close the door again. It doesn't have a lock this time. I don't need my alarm clock. How could the bookshelf... Push the bookshelf in the way of the door. Sure. Can I go out the window? This city. Do we go down? I mean, if that's as far down as it goes... No. So the other option is to go up. is memorizing that there's a button but no swivelly thing useful can we go yoink the swivelly thing off the other one You press the button and then that lets you take the handle. I 
I feel like they're going to grab us if we walk past the window. <gasps> this... Use this on this. Then we hide in the roof. It's locked. But there was supposedly something up here because it gave us more score. I mean, cutting this wire sounds like a good idea. I don't understand. Skip. Okay, there was something that we were supposed to do there that I didn't understand. I tried rubbing it. Up and down on the rope, I tried rubbing it side to side on the rope, and it did nothing. Anna! Ed! Detective! We're gonna get you out of here. Come on, let's go. But there was a button to just skip, so we used it. Are you okay? I will be. Thanks. Who was that man? And why was he chasing me? I don't know, but listen. We need to get rid of him. I don't see anybody. If someone was following us, we must have lost them. Well, that's something at least. We're going to stay here for a little while, figure out what to do. You're safe with me, Anna. Look, I'll just go and call this into the station. We can dust your apartment, figure out who that scumbag was. No. Ed. Anna, the note we found in your uncle's journal. What? What note? What are you not telling me? Anna. Maybe we should trust him, Ed. What note? It's up to you. I trust him. I think we should trust him. Because we've been playing as him as a character. Now, will someone tell me what's going on? I'm sorry we were keeping you out of the loop, Detective, but we had to. You had to, huh? We found this note from my uncle. And you thought this meant me? We couldn't be sure. Look, that explosion in the lab was no accident. Dr. Morales was working on a powerful new technology, and someone used his own technology to kill him. If Dr. Morales has a vault somewhere with- Where a multiple people. inside, we need to secure it before anyone else can get to it. I really should report this. No, you can't do that. If Morales was right, and someone on the force was after him, Please, Detective, just give, give us, us 24 hours. hours. Help us. Surely you've broken a few regulations in your time. Ah, well, you got me there. 24 hours. No more secrets. Deal. Good, because I got a couple questions need answering. Ask away. Uh, what do you know about his death? What you're saying now is that the explosion in Morales' lab was not an accident. The way that hole was cut out of the lab, it had to be caused by the new technology Dr. Morales was working on. But Dr. Morales couldn't have caused it himself. An event of that size would require two very precisely <laughs> placed devices miles apart with the lab in the center. This was no accident. What is his research? 
You'd better tell us what all the hubbub is about. What did Morales create? I'll show you. Using the lab's super collider, Dr. Morales discovered a new type of twin particle. The particle always comes in pairs, a positive and a negative, yin and yang. Bound together, they form the substructure of the electron. These two particles actually occupy the same space by vibrating through space-time. We call this vibration resonance. Let's, uh, pretend... Ooh, the title! What's the big deal? The big deal isn't knowing that these particles exist, it's in what you can do with them. Dr. Morales was designing resonance devices that could neutralize the effect of resonance, allowing you to separate the twin particles. Two particles, two devices. You can place these devices some distance apart and then release the particles trapped inside. The particles instantly snap back together, collide in the exact center, and release a large amount of energy. Anything within a certain area of effect is completely pulverized at an atomic level. The Boom. particles apart before disabling the devices, the larger the area of effect. In fact, uh, Dr. Morales and I developed a precise formula predicting the inverse relationship. All right, all right. So you take two devices, separate them, and when you shut them off, whatever's in the middle goes boom. Well, yeah. You could have just said that. <sighs> what about using them as weapons? What does a resonance weapon look like? Dr. Morales was designing these resonance devices for peaceful applications. But, weaponizing them would be fairly simple. The devices would be pretty small, softball size maybe. By placing a device on either side of a target, calculating the distance required to achieve the intended area of effect, and synchronizing their release with some kind of uh, radio detonator. Or a cell phone. Sure, or a cell phone. You could take out anything you wanted to. So I could place resonance devices, say, in a doorway, and vaporize someone's heart as they walk through. Well, it's not you're technically vaporizing. Well, pull them farther away and erase a whole building from existence. I suppose. If I mounted these things on planes or satellites, just how big could you make this blast? Well, there's no theoretical limit. My god. Oh no. So what's in this vault? I didn't even know of its existence until earlier today, so I can't be sure. But I'm guessing it's a repository of all his research into resonance particles, including his designs for the resonance devices used to separate them. Maybe even prototypes. Whatever is in it, it's dangerous in the wrong hands. And now that Dr. Morales is dead, it's just out there waiting to be found. But we're gonna be the ones to find it. So this vault has to be destroyed. What? No! Unlimited destructive power, are you kidding me? No, that's only if the technology is used incorrectly. Anna, your uncle wanted these resonance particles to bring about a new age of peace and human prosperity. Imagine it. Unlimited clean energy, faster than light travel, instant communication over unlimited distances. This was your uncle's dream. You can't let that die. No, I'm not gonna let you put this woman in danger. Or did you already forget that someone tried to kill her tonight? Enough! All this talk is pointless unless we find the vault before the people who killed my uncle do. My uncle left this task to me with his last words. So whether we destroy the vault or make sure the research gets into the right hands, the choice is mine. Is there a problem with that? So it sounds like we have a dichotomy yeah, choice we ending. Find this vault. Well, um, my best guess is... Shut up. Get behind me. Hands where I can see him. Okay, okay. Don't shoot. I'm coming out. I told you someone was following us. Who are you? My name is Ray. Ray Abbott. I was just walking through the park. Is he with them? With who? I swear, I'm alone. Wait a second. I saw you. You were at the hospital. I've seen you before. I don't... I don't know. Not that I know of. Not that you know of. No, 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 this. You walked by us in the hospital. Were you listening to us there, too? Okay, look, I'm a journalist. The Abbott Post, online. I was at the hospital working on another story, and I heard the two of you talking about this vault and how the police may be involved. 
I smell the story, so I followed you guys. Ray Abbott, I've seen his picture in the news. You're the guy who wrote that story about the vice president. One in the same. This is the other guy we were when we were hacking into the um, computer thing. I want to help you. No, no more people. It was supposed to just be Anna and me. Well, <laughs> I guess if I can't stick around, I could just run with what I've got so far. You son of a bitch. Look, you don't know it, but you need me. Yeah, right. You need information, right? Well, that's my bread and butter. I have contacts. People who live under the radar, you need to know something, they can get it. Crooks, you mean. I've exposed more bad guys than you ever will. Now look here. No, he's right. We need his help. You sure? Yes. And if there is corruption in the police force, we could use his blog to help expose it. It's not a blog. It's a reputable <laughs> news source. I swear to God, if you step out of line... I get it. You can trust me. The day I trust a muckraker like you. Guys, we're not gonna get anything done tonight. There's a motel on the corner. Let's cool off, get some rest, and think about our next move. We'll regroup right- But you have an apartment! Agreed. You all, like, I suppose you don't want to go to your apartments because there's someone that nominally knows you. What's this? What the? The reporter is following you. Get rid of him. Hey. Give that back. That's none of your business. Which again makes it seem like he's suspicious. Except that when we've played him, we know that he isn't? Let's go over this plan, Ed. To find and open Dr. Morales' vault, we need three things. One, the vault is most likely hidden somewhere inside Juno Lab. We need to know where it is. Yes, it's in one of the many underground tunnels. So, we'll need a blueprint of the lab. Blueprints of all major buildings are on file in the city archives, which is in the police administration building. And that's been added as a memory. We've got different locations we can be at now. Two. Even with the blueprints, we're going to need some kind of information on the vault to help us figure out exactly where in the lab it might be. Jimmy Olsen? It's simple, detective. We follow the money. Somebody had to build this vault, and it probably didn't come cheap. I have a contact at the National Credit Service. He can get anyone's financial transaction history. If we can find the guy who sold Morales the vault, maybe they can help us find it. Second memory added. Added national credit systems. We need to figure out how to open the vault. Anna, that part's up to you. My uncle's last words were, your uncle holds the key. Besides Javi, I only had one other uncle. He's buried near my parents in All Saints Cemetery. There may be a clue about this key there, but... Ed, I'd like you to come with me. Oh, uh, sure thing. Just let me know when you're ready to go. All right, we'll split up. Remember, no talking to police, and no posting stories on your blog. It's not a blog. Good luck, everyone, and thank you. And we can now be all four people at once. Achievement unlocked. Scooby-Doo Squad Assemble. I think that makes a perfect point to end so this. Is this a typical day for you, Ray? Hmm? You know, poking your nose where it doesn't belong. I belong here. They've got idle animations and conversations. This is a perfect point to end the first episode. Catch you all next time.